Hey guys, so today we're going to be creating a rock, paper, scissors game, which is basically how it sounds, except you're going against a computer. And we're going to be creating this in Python using the turtle module. So the first thing we want to do is import turtle. And we also want to import random. So random is just going to allow the computer to choose a random choice between rock, paper, or scissors. And the first thing we want to do is set up our window. So wn is equal to turtle dot screen one dot background color we want to set it to light green and we want to w one dot set up we want to set the width to 600 pixels the height to 500 pixels and let's set the title to rock paper scissors so if I run this, we will see a window pop up, and the background. Oh wait, oops, let me run that again. The background color is light green. On the top left, the title is rock paper scissors, and the dimensions of this window is 600 by 500 pixels. So what we want to do is separate the window into two halves. The left half is going to be for the player. And the right half is going to be for the computer. So draw center line. T is equal to turtle dot or turtle dot turtle. We want to set the speed to zero so we can move it and get to a position instantly. T dot up and then T dot set position to zero, negative 250. And then T dot down. So now we can start drawing. So t dot color. Let's set this to white. And then t dot pen size is three pixels. Change it ninety degrees to the left. Ninety. And then t dot forward. 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 Six hundred pixels. So if I run this. You see there's a white line in the center, so let me break this down. So we created a new pen called T. We set the position to 0, negative 250, so it's down here. And then we change the color to white, and the thickness is 3 pixels. When you first create this pen, it's facing to the right, so when, when we moved it down here, it's facing to the right. T dot left changes the angle that's facing to the left 90 degrees, so now it's facing forward. And then when we moved it forward 600 pixels, it went from the bottom to the top. So we want to register shape images. So rock image is equal to images uh, rock.gif. This is a pre-downloaded image of a rock or of a hand that representing the rock. And then you can find your images online. So I have a not another rock. This is going to be a paper paper image, and then it's going to be scissors image. Scissors image is equal to images. Uh, scissors .gif. So now we've registered our images. Now, or actually, we didn't totally register it yet. So turtle dot register shape. And then we want to register the rock shape, the rock image. And then register shape to paper image. And what this allows us to do is that we can change the shape of our turtle into that shape. So now what we could do is create our create player turtle. So player is equal to turtle dot turtle player dot shape we want to set the shape of the player to a rock image and player dot up and let's set the speed of the player to zero and then let's set the position so position to negative 150 negative 50 so Basically, originally, it's going to have the rock image is going to 
the shape like a rock image, and then I move the position to negative 150, negative 50. So if I run this, I have the hand that's basically uh, what you'd represent as rock and rock versus. And I want to do the same thing for the computer. So I want to create a computer now. Create the computer turtle. And this is going to be, instead of player, it's going to be computer. So let me copy and paste this. Computer.speed. Speed and instead of negative 150, negative 50 again, this should be positive 150, 50. So if I run this, this left side is going to represent the player, this right side is going to represent the computer, and they're both going to start out as rocks. And whenever I want to change the player's uh, shape, I want to. Uh, also change the computer shape or the not computer shape but their choice so let's write a function so define rock if the player wants to change it to rock their their own to rock then i want to change the player shape player shape to the rock image otherwise if i want to play, change the player's uh, choice to a paper then player dot, dot shape and then paper image player dot scissors and then this is gonna be player dot shape scissors image now I wanna add keyboard binding so wn dot listen what this is gonna do is this is going to listen for input from our computer, or from our keyboard specifically. So, wn.on key rock r. So whenever I press r, it's going to change, it's going to call this rock function, which we created up here, rock. And we want to do this for paper and scissors also. So, on key paper, if I press the letter p on our keyboard, it's going to call the paper function and then same thing with scissors and then s so if i run this if i press p you notice that the hand changes to a paper shape s r p s r p but the computer doesn't so that's a problem and now what we want to do how do we choose a random one from the computer we can create a list under here. So let's have the shapes is equal to rock image, paper image, and scissors image. So this is going to be a list storing the different shapes. So this is where the random module comes into play. So our index is going to be random.randint between zero two since there are only three choices uh, this is going to choose a number between zero and two including including two also so we're going to change when we change the computer or the player's shape to rock we will also want to change the computer shape to something so images and then index so it's going to call a random value from this images list that we created down here. And we want to do this in our other two functions. So normally in a list, uh, the first thing, so this rock image, the index is zero, then this is one, then this is two. So if we call index zero, it's gonna call rock for the computer. So let's actually run this. And if I press paper or if I press paper again images not defined let's see images oh I call it shapes not images so this should be images and if I run this 
I press P, paper, and then the computer chose scissors, I press paper again, and then the computer will also just choose a random one. If I call R for rock, and S for scissors, it seems all of them seem to be working. So now, what we could do is, uh, we want to initialize or create our scores, so, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Initialize scores. And then we want to score of the person. We want to start out at zero. Score of the computer is also going to be zero. And then we're going to create a scoreboard. The pen for the person or the player is going to be new pen turtle dot turtle. Uh, pen p dot speed zero. Pen p dot up. Pen p dot high turtle. And then pen p dot go to negative 150, 150. And then pen p dot write u. So this is going to represent the player score. Uh, it's going to be zero at first. And then align is equal to center. Font is equal to none. And then 20. So if I run this, or yeah, if I run this, we have the text U, zero. So the player's initial score is going to be zero, but we don't have it for the computer yet, so we want to add that. We have the scoreboard for the player, so for the computer, I'll just copy and paste this. And change some of these variable names. Let's see, that should be it. And instead of go to negative 150, 150, it should be 150, 150. So let me save this and run it. Now we have you, but okay, I want to change this to computer. But you see, we have both our scores for the player and the computer. So let's change this to computer and show it. Now we have you and computer. So now what we want to do is just actually when I win or when I lose. So if I call paper, the computer here deserves a point because scissors beats paper, but the score doesn't go up. So we want to find a way to increase the score. So how we do that is in our functions again. We want to declare a uh, score. C and score P as global variables. And then we want to check if if the index is equal to one. So paper. Then then we want to increase the score of the computer. So score C is equal to score C plus one. This means that uh, the player who chose rock loses to to the computer who chose paper. And this index is equal to 1 represents from this images of the list. So the 0 and then the first index or the this is going to be paper. So this is going to be paper. We want to increase the score of C and pen C dot clear and pen C dot write computer percent d this is going to act as a placeholder for this variable score c align is equal to or no comma here actually no comma. align center font is equal to none 20 and then else if the index is equal to 2 and then this is going to be scissors then I want score of the player to equal previous score of the player plus one. So it's going to increase the score of the player by one. So pen p dot clear, pen p dot write u percent d percent score p. So it's going to replace this percent d with this value. Line is equal to 
center and then font is equal to none. So what this does, pen p dot clear and then this clears the previous text written by this pen and then rewrites it. And now we want to do this for paper and scissors. So paper, we could do paper first actually. We also want to, don't forget to declare global score C, score P. So if index is equal to zero, in this case, well, I'll just check it here. So if index is equal to zero, which is going to be rock, then I want score P to increase. So paper beats rock. So I want to increase the player's score. So yeah. And then else if if index is equal to two, which is gonna be scissors scissors, then I want to increase the computer score since paper loses to scissors. And again, copy and paste this into scissors. And I'll check for that. So scissors, and then if index is equal to um, if index is equal to one, then this is gonna check for paper. Since scissors beats paper, the player is gonna get a higher score. This is going to check for rock, and the index for rock is zero in the list. And don't forget to. Uh, state that score C and score P are global variables. So if I run this, let's see what happens. If I click paper, I get a point because the computer is a rock and paper beats rock. I get a point again. It's going to be a tie. And the computer gets a point since scissors beats paper. If I do this for a rock, Okay, so rock seems to work fine. And scissors, yep, and scissors looks like it also should, yep, scissors works fine. So the reason I didn't check if scissors is equal to scissors is because if it does equal to scissors, then no one's going to get a score. Uh, then it's just going to be a tie, so no one's scores increases. So that will just be a waste of space if I just check again. So that is going to be it for this uh, rock, paper, scissors game with the turtle module. So some things you could just do, you know, add whoever, add like a feature, like whoever gets to a certain amount of score wins first. Or try to make it so that you can go against a friend or something. So this is going to be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one.